welcome to day three of the Vegas Vlog. Good morning, guys. So today is day three of my trip and it's about 11 o'clock. We had a late start today. Uh, went to bed at three last night trying to just get the files moved over for yesterday's video. Um, but we are now on our way over to Planet Hollywood, the Miracle Mile shops. Emily is going to have Jamba Juice, which is her typical lunch. She has Jamba Juice like every day. Um, and mom and I are going to Earl of Sandwich, which is one of my absolute must goes to is when I'm here in Vegas. I absolutely love that place. Um, it's also cheaper than pretty much anything on the strip. So, you know, when I can save some money, I'm gonna save some money because we've got an expensive dinner coming up. Um, but today we are just gonna be walking around. I'm gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna bring you guys with us. We kind of just wander around the strip. Uh, maybe we'll go to the Link Promenade. I want to get some cookies and yeah, uh, just a lot of wandering around today. Later tonight, Emily and I do have a show. Let me say, you want to say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so Emily and I are going to a show later tonight, but we are just going to head over, get some lunch, and then we'll just wander around for the day. So let me turn you around and we will walk on over to the Miracle Mile Shops. Okay guys, change of plans. <laughs> so apparently the Jamba Juice at the Miracle Mile Shops is no more. Uh, they do have one over at Fashion Show, but we're not gonna walk over there. So we are now going to Gordon Ramsay Burger. We're gonna go get in line and have a burger for lunch. So we'll see you there. Guys, we are here at Gordon Ramsay Burger. This is inside of the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino. Uh, we've actually dined here before, but it was years ago, way before I started vlogging. So very excited to bring you here. We're gonna show you what we're getting. Um, it might not be as exciting considering what mom and Emily got, but we'll show you what we got anyway. And um, so we were originally going to go to Jamba Juice, but apparently the one here at the Miracle Mile shops closed, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it had been a few years since we've been here, so or since we had gone to look for the Jamba Juice, so it makes sense. But anyways, let me show you guys uh, what we get for food when it arrives. Delicious burger. The bun is buttered. I get my hamburger well done, and I only have lettuce and onions. Be sure and ask for if you don't want it. It is a delicious burger. Fry. Hot. Delicious fries. Okay. I got a backyard burger um, with um, all of the nothing on it except for uh, the patty and the cheese, um, which looks a little weird, but it's how I like it and it's delicious. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be messy, and there's no way I can eat it without a knife and fork, so. <laughs> All right. Wow. It is a lot of layers of stuff, but it looks delicious. Okay. Get a little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm making a mess. I know you guys are going to comment how I'm ruining the burger. I'm doing the best I can. Okay. Totally making a mess. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, the burger itself is good, but it's the egg and the mushroom that really make it. The egg and the mushroom are so salty and they have this nice gooey texture. The mushroom's actually really firm. This is delicious. The arugula has a little bit of a bite to it. And then the bun is a sesame seed bun, nice and toasted. 
This is divine. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this. So we just got done with lunch. That was delicious. I definitely would recommend Gordon Ramsay Burger. Um, the prices are a little bit high, of course. You're here in Vegas, you're on the Strip. Um, is it the best burger I've had? No, but I think it was good. The burger itself, I think, was decent. Um, honestly, what made, what made it for me was the mushroom and the egg. And <laughs> so definitely, I would highly recommend giving that burger a try. But um, now that that's done, we're gonna actually head over to the Link Promenade because I wanna go get some of the Honolulu Cookie Company cookies. So we'll bring you with us as we walk around and we'll see you over at the promenade. So you will see the piñatas for the Cinco de Mayo. But we're heading down to the Honolulu Cookie Company. Um, every time I'm here, I come down here to go buy a bunch of cookies for my dad and my husband. Um, they both like this cookie shop. So if you've never been, it's delicious. If you have been, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite cookie from them is. Mine is the pineapple, go figure. But they have like coffee, they have chocolate, um, all kinds of stuff. So I actually really like the Link Promenade. I just think it's a fun vibe, fun atmosphere. It is pretty busy today. It is Friday, so. Just gonna take you guys with me for a little walkie. Hopefully you can, hopefully it's not too shaky. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I don't have my gimbal. Um, so I'm just using a handheld, a handheld stick and it doesn't work nearly as well but here's the I Love Sugar store <laughs> giant gummy bear <laughs> there's so many places over here that I still haven't eaten at And I've heard that O'Shea's is a great spot to get a frozen Bailey's, but I don't really drink Bailey's. I don't drink anything really, but... So, there's the link. There's this wheel. I have done that. I think it's fun to do, uh, if you're here for like, the first time and you know you want to see a good view of Vegas I think it's a great way to do it it is a little bit pricey but uh, I think it's fun to do once at least once so we're just making our way down okay so these cake shop vending machines have been popping up all over they have one in Planet Hollywood near Gordon Ramsay Burger. They have one here at the Link. They have one at Harris. The one at Harris is the one I've tried. Leave me a comment and let me know. Sorry, I know there's like a terrible glare. Leave me a comment and let me know. Have you tried it? I have, and I would say it's not worth it. It was $9 for a really dry piece of cake. <laughs> Definitely not what I would say worth it. But you know, it's one of those like novelty item things that's fun to do. You do it once to say you've done it. We're coming up on one of my favorite places here. Nope, not in and out although that is a good place for a quick burger. One of my favorite places is this place over here on the left, Ja Burritos. If you're looking for a good poke bowl, that's where to go. They have some really good poke bowls. It is a busy Friday here in Vegas. Lots of pigeons. <laughs> She's feeding them the fries.
ice bar looks like it would be kind of fun to do, but I don't, I don't really drink alcohol, so it probably isn't worth it for me, but kind of a neat, a neat place to go, especially if you're here in the summer when it's like a hundred and something degrees out. Okay, we're coming up to my cookie stop. So if you're here, it's right after the Gear Deli, it's right after the uh, Brooklyn Bowl. And this is my favorite cookie spot in Vegas, Honolulu Cookie Company. All right, I'll see you guys inside. Digging into the merch already. <laughs> Mom said really good in case you couldn't understand it because she had cookie in her mouth. White chocolate covered. White chocolate covered. Confetti. Confetti. No macadamia. No macadamia, she said. What a weirdo. Not liking the macadamia. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to head over to the Bellagio and see the uh, conservatory. So let's head over that way and we'll see you guys there. All right, guys. We made it to the Bellagio. So let's go check out the Spring Conservatory. It is Spring 2023. I can already tell it looks gorgeous as usual. So let me give you a quick tour of the conservatory. conservatory and that was beautiful they did they always do such a lovely job with it uh, the flowers are exquisite and it's just impeccable design 10 out of 10 definitely recommend of course go check out the conservatory um, it's a little bit less elaborate than some of the previous displays it's a lot more about you know spring and flora and just about the, the flowers rather than the actual like extras but it was still wonderful to see so we are now going to head over to the tram and we are actually going to take the tram back to the hotel. We're going to go back to Aria and just uh, hang out in the room for a little bit, just take a little bit of a rest. And then we are going to dinner. Uh, we're going to go to Giordano's for dinner tonight. So we will see you guys in a couple hours. Well, hello. Good evening. Fancy seeing you guys here. <laughs> so we are here at Giordano's. It's a pizza place here at the Horseshoe. Uh, over by the Bazaar Shops. Very famous Chicago deep dish pizza. I have actually never had it before, but it looks good and it looks amazing. So it does take about an hour to make them. So just be aware if you're trying to eat those, make sure you give yourself plenty of time. Um, but we are here for dinner and then Emily and I are going to a play. We'll give you all the information on that later. But uh, I got an iced tea per usual. And my mom actually got a drink, so she got a cocktail. So I'll show that when you, um, I'll show you that when that arrives. But yeah, right now, let me, uh, we'll show, see you guys when the food gets here. <laughs> this is a peach bellini with Prosecco and it's uh, frozen and it is very strong. So if you see me collapsing at the end of this meal, you'll understand why. All right, guys, so we started out with mozzarella sticks, or they're mozzarella triangles, and they look really good. It does come with some marinara sauce. Let's, I'm gonna do it without the marinara first. Let's see if we can get this cheese going. <laughs> Their mozzarella triangles are excellent. The cheese is melted, it's mild, but the fried outside it has a really nice flavor to it. I think it has Italian spices on it. It has like parsley, it has some oregano. It's really delicious, nice and golden crispy. Highly recommend. Definitely if you're here with people, you can share them. It comes with six, so there's plenty. 
so Emily ordered the pasta uh, or the yeah pasta Alfredo because um, she does not really eat pizza pizza so she does eat Alfredo which she just recently found out for those of you who don't know my sister's a very picky eater she eat, she grew up eating like maybe three things not even an exaggeration McDonald's Burger King SpaghettiOs Oh, and Stouffer's mac and cheese. Those are her four food groups. But she does eat pasta Alfredo, so let's give it a try. The pasta is really nicely cooked, tender. The sauce is, it's actually a very mild Alfredo sauce. It's good though, it has Parmesan cheese though on it, which I like, mom's making a face. But it does have some Parmesan cheese and then parsley on it. It's pretty good if you're not a pizza person, if you prefer pasta, or if you don't have an hour to wait for your pizza to cook, come get the pasta. So mom and I ordered the Chicago Classic deep dish, which is their obviously Chicago Classic pizza. Uh, it does have uh, mushrooms, it has green bell, bell peppers, it has onion. It looks delicious, it smells divine. So let's go ahead and give this a try. It's, in, it's unique, obviously. One, it's a very, very deep dishy, <laughs> if that's a word. Uh, but it also is reverse. The cheese is not on the top like it is in a normal pizza. The sauce is on the top. Let's give it a try. Mm. There's layers of flavoring. The cheese is nice and melted, very ooey gooey. The sauce is the same marinara, basically, that we have with the mozzarella sticks. Savory, very robust tomato flavor. And now let's try the crust, because that's my favorite part. The crust is absolutely, I think, my favorite part. It's flaky, it's almost like, um, it almost tastes almost like a phyllo dough. It's just very light, flaky, golden crispy. With the mozzarella and the marinara and the toppings, this is a great dinner. Perfect way to spend an evening, evening in Vegas. The sauce is really good. There's a lot of cheese. So I'm gonna have to sort of de deconstruct it a little. Maybe I'll start from this end. and the sauce are really good. Okay guys, so we just got done with dinner. And I think my favorite was the mozzarella sticks by far. The mozzarella triangles. Oh, sorry, mozzarella triangles. I keep calling them <laughs> sticks. Um, I think those are really amazing. The pizza was good, it's expensive. It's 30 something dollars for a small. It is a lot of pizza, so definitely shareable. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good spot, you know. It satisfied the hunger and now Emily and I are going to a show called The Potted Potter, and that's here at the Horseshoe, which is why we had dinner at, at Giordano's. Um, so this was actually Emily's birthday gift from December. <laughs> it's now May, um, but this was my present to her. She wanted to come and see this play, and it's supposed to be like a parody of Harry Potter. So for any of you who are Harry Potter fans, we'll let you know how it is. You excited? <laughs> All right, let's head in. We're here at the Potted Potter area. It's in the Magic Attic. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so we just saw Potted Potter. And it was very funny. And it was very cute. And uh, it was a great birthday present. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it was actually it was actually very good. I didn't have very high expectations <laughs> for it. I'm not gonna lie. Fair. The reviews that I read were like, oh, it don't go. It's not. <laughs> it's not very good. I thought it was hilarious. The two guys are really talented. Um, some of the improv stuff was actually quite improv -y because <laughs> funny things happen that didn't happen every show. Um, and I thought it was great. So you know, um, I'd recommend it if you're a Harry Potter fan. Definitely, I think it would be enjoyable. So, 
Now we are gonna get, go to CVS real quick and then we're gonna go check out a new place that just opened up at the Bazaar Shops. So I will show you guys that when we get there. So this is the, these are the donuts that Emily and I got. And the left one, this one is mine. It's a blueberry donut. It's got a uh, blueberry glaze and then powdered sugar and a maple uh, frosting. Emily got this one, which is the caramel macchiato. It has a vanilla glaze. It also has some caramel. Looks really good. So let's cut into this and we'll check it out. So I ended up with the blueberry donut and this looks really good. I can already tell it's very moist inside. And it has a blueberry glaze, it has vanilla frosting, and some maple. Mmm. Oh my god. That is a really good donut. It's not overly sweet, which is something I like, but it has just a little bit of sweetness. Definitely can taste the blueberry. It tastes like, um, it almost tastes like a little bit more of a moist pound cake with blueberries in it. And it's so good. Oh man. If you like blueberries, definitely give that blueberry donut a try. When we were there, this is May of 2023. They were having a promotion where if you did a Google review and gave them five stars with the review, you would get $5 off. So you basically get a free donut. So we didn't end up paying for our donuts. These were free. I don't know how long they're going to be doing it. It's also a little bit of a, I don't know. I feel it's kind of a shady practice just because when you go and Google them, you're going to see a bunch of five-star reviews and it's not necessarily because their donuts are five-star because a lot of these people like us left a five-star review before having the donuts. Now, after having that donut, I can safely say, yes, I do believe that donut is a five-star donut, but... If you look at the reviews, just take it with a grain of salt because a lot of those are probably just because they wanted a free donut. So it is what it is. But let's see what Emily thinks of hers. It smells like a pound cake. Can yeah. I imagine that? Yeah. Oh, yo, come back. Okay. Come back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, so your head is so much smaller than mine. <laughs> there, now it looks like <laughs> now it, <laughs> I feel like I have such a large head. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, day three is done, and um, we had a really good day. Lots of fun things, lots of walking around, good food. Um, tomorrow is Emily's last day with us. She's actually going and hanging out with a friend or a couple of friends. So mom and I are on our own for the morning, but we'll see her tomorrow in the afternoon before she leaves. Yes. And did you have a good time? I did. Today was a good day. What was your favorite part? Uh, the part where I can sit down. <laughs> yeah, Emily sat down. Mom and I had to go to Walgreens and we left Emily on the sidewalk, literally sitting on rocks because she didn't want to walk all the way down the strip. That's so, <laughs> no, but, but I, I did, I did enjoy, uh, I enjoyed the, the burgers that we had um, and the show was obviously really great and the donuts were adorable. Um, Overall, good day. So that's going to close out today's vlog and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.